everyone today we are going to see how to solve true false not given in IELTS reading first we have to see the question number 22nd then we will scan the passage where is the location most of the time the true false not given are in the sequence first we will see the 22nd the number of people buying dolls has grown over the centuries we will scan the passage they are talking about teddy bear stamps then we will move to the next passages and uh, we will notice that they are not talking about dolls anywhere there then we will move to the next page and on the first para only they are talking about dolls similarly people who collect dolls may go beyond simply enlarging their collection and develop an interest in a way that dolls are made or the materials that are used. It means people are collecting doll and they have interest in knowing how the dolls are made or the material is used. These have changed over the centuries from the good that was standard in 16th century Europe through the wax or porcelain of later centuries to the plastics of today's dolls. Now we will go to the second question. The number of people buying dolls has grown over the centuries. They are talking about centuries but they are talking about in 16th century the wood was used and in the next century wax and porcelain was used but they are not talking about that it has grown or not. So the answer will be not given. Next question is 23rd. 16th century European dolls were normally made of wax and porcelain. We will go to the same location because we already know they were talking about 16th century Europe. But they are talking about at that time, these have changed over the centuries from the wood that was standard in 16th century Europe. That means in 16th century, wood was used for dolls through the wax and porcelain of later centuries. It means in later centuries, the wax and porcelain was used. But the question is, 16th century European dolls were normally made of wax and porcelain which is opposite to the given statement in the passage. So the answer will be false. Now we will move to the next question 24. Arranging a stamp collection by size of the stamps is less common than other methods. The meaning of the question is people are arranging their stamp collection by size of stamp. Now we will go to the paragraph and look for the synonym or the keywords. If we go to the next passage, not all collectors are interested in learning from their hobby as they were learning in the case of dolls. So what we might call is psychological reason for collecting is need for a sense of control, perhaps as a way of dealing with insecurity. Stamp collector, this is our location. Stamp collectors, for instance, arrange their stamps in albums, usually very neatly, organizing their collection according to certain commonplace principles. Perhaps by country in alphabetical order? Or grouping stamps by what they depict? People, birds, maps and so on. The passage they are talking about, people arrange the stamps in alphabetical order or by people word map the way they are depicted but in the question they are talking about size but in the passage they are not talking about size anywhere so answer will be not given again it cannot be false because they have not mentioned size anywhere now we will move to the 25th question someone who collects unusual objects may want others to think he or she is also unusual. Now we will again go to the passage. As I told you, these most of the time true false not given are in the series. So we will move to the next para. One reason, conscious or not, for what someone chooses to collect is to show the collector's individualism. 
Now they are talking about individualism. Like what kind of person they are from the collection of things. Someone who decides to collect something as unexpected as dog collars, for instance, may be conveying their belief that they must be interesting themselves. And believe it or not, there is at least one dog collar museum in existence and it grew out of a personal collection. That means it is something unusual if they are collecting dog collars. The question is someone who collect unusual may want others to think he she is different or unusual. This is true. So the answer will be true according to the passage. Now we will move to the 26th question. Collecting gives a feeling that other hobbies are unlikely to inspire. That means when you collect something, it gives you a feeling which no other hobby can give you. Now we will again move to the passage. The last passage. Of course, all hobbies give pleasure. We know now the location is correct because they are talking about pleasure of hobbies. Of course, all hobbies give pleasure. But the common factor is collecting is usually passion. Pleasure is putting it far too, mildly. More than most other hobbies, collecting can be totally engrossing and can give a strong sense of personal fulfillment. That means the answer is again true. For 26th, we will write true. So this is the way how we can attempt true, false and not given. Don't make it complicated. Just see whether they are talking about the same statement of the question in the passage or is it opposite or they are not talking about it at all. So this is the way how we can attempt true, false and not given. For other type of reading questions, please subscribe and like our channel. Thank you.